Hello, welcome back to Sarah Plays Warhammer 3. Uh, so yeah, I ended my Aranus Assault Spike campaign, and as promised, I am back because I just love playing Warhammer, even though I'm not very good. So I'm going to start a new campaign, and I hinted at what I was going to do at the end of my Aranessa campaign, and I know that was ended abruptly, but again, I don't want to get to a point where it's a drag to play the game, so I want to continue playing things I enjoy. So, with that said, I'm going to play a faction that has been one of my favorites since I started playing in Warhammer 2. It was the very first faction I ever played in Warhammer 2, and that would be the High Elves with your boy Tyrion. So, a lot of people are going to say, oh, Tyrion's easy mode, oh... But you know what? I just enjoy playing the High Elves. I enjoy playing Tyrion. I enjoy playing an Order faction that gets along with other Order factions. So I'm hoping to build some good alliances. I'm hoping not to crash and burn early in the campaign. I would love to take this really, really far into the endgame. Like I did with Miao Ying, but I... That remains to be seen. <laughs> I haven't played Tyrion for very long in Immortal Empires, so I don't know how this campaign's gonna go. But as is usual for me, I'm going to play normal and normal. Um, I I don't feel like I'm at a point where I wanna bump this up just yet because I wanna see how this campaign goes. But I have I have been thinking about trying legendary with a certain faction just to see how long I can go with that faction, but that'll be something for another day, I think, so. Uh, let's look at enable endgame scenarios. I mean, uh, sure, I guess. I do want to turn off. So the dwarves I've already had. The Black Pyramid didn't really get too far into that to really see the effects with Aranessa. So I'm going to leave that one off to Biggest Wa. I did have that with Grimgore, but that's okay. I can leave that on. Wild Hunt, Vampiric Ascension, and Vermintide. Yeah, I think I could leave all of these on and leave the difficulty at 100. Turn timer, that's probably fine. So, turn, yeah, okay. All of those are fine, so. All right, let's get started and see how this goes. I really, really hope that I don't fail early on with this. I am familiar with the High Elves and how they play, but it's been a while, so we'll see. Plus, Malekith, if he gets off to a an early start, we could be in for a rough time, but part of me has always wanted to play Tyrion with the Sword of Cain and go, like, full dark Tyrion, but Another part of me just can't bear it. All right, let's see. What does it say? An island paradise said to have been created especially for the High Elves. Ulthuan has unsurprisingly not been able to escape the attentions of the wider world. It is a place of incredible magic where unthinkable power is harnessed and borne upon gentle winds while the swirling vortex at its heart inexorably draws in the surplus arcane energies of the world, preventing an all-out demonic incursion upon the mortal plane. Long has this place attracted the predations of others, be it the old world's primitive belligerents, or worse, the demonic hordes who prize elven souls above all others. So yeah, like I said, I played Tyrion. He was the very first faction that I played in Warhammer Sons 2. and daughters of Ulthuan, be ready to fight! And I just like playing Tyrion because, I mean, he's really, he's a really good fighter. And the High Elves, I mean, they're an easy faction to play just because they have such good economy. This is a little bit different, though, because we've got Slanesh involved, which Slanesh was not on Ulthuan when I played in Mortal Empires in Warhammer 2. And actually, I think Tyrion I played... Before I did Mortal Empires, I'm pretty sure I did the Vortex campaign with Tyrion. So, well, well. Let's just get this off to a 
roaring start against Bale Simon. Salmon. I will. All right, and we can't just auto resolve the very first battle, right? We've got to. We've got to actually fight this, <laughs> and hopefully not make a fool of myself with this. The Dark Elves also have some good ranged capabilities, but neither of us have any artillery, so there's that. I know with Tyrion, I employ more cheese tactics, especially with siege battles, where you pull your whole army back and just have him waste ammo running back and forth, but we'll see if, if it comes to that with anything that I do. I really, I grew to love playing the siege battles with Aranessa, and I just don't know if I'm going to have that same feeling with Tyrion. I really hate that they're making me fight here. Okay, listen. We have all of this open space out here to fight in, and we choose to meet in the forest, which is not great for my archers, so. Lovely, good times. Alright, I'm going to put the cavalry over there. And then classic German. formation is just keep your spears out front. I think I'm going to stagger them a little Spearman. bit because I don't want my archers to get flanked. Although the nice thing with Lothern Seaguard is that these particular Lothern Seaguard have shields. So I don't have to worry as much about them with enemy Understood. missiles but I do need to worry still worry about them getting flanked from behind Understood. by the other factions cavalry Spearman. and they are good in melee too so Love and I don't want them to be I'm probably gonna Spearman. shift everybody over just a wee bit Spearman that's too far, I think. Say. Without fail. And the Lothern Sea Guard are pretty decent in melee if it comes to that, so. And then your boy is gonna go out front here, so. Have Tyrion come out front. Alright, so they've got Dark Riders on either side. Shock cavalry very fast. So the Arcane Phoenix would be good to flank in behind on their dark shards. If I can get there without getting shot at. We will obey. I also could have the dark shards go or the <laughs> my silver helms go after their dark shards. Air of Anarian. You know, he doesn't have his horse yet, so I think I might want him to be in the woods a little bit for when they start shooting. Alright, so these dark shards, or if I can... Oh, the only... It will be done. It shall be done. I'm gonna shift these guys we just advance. a wee bit. Spearmen. All right, so they're going to charge basically headlong into my... All right, so that did a hurting. All right, fly, 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 fly. Come on, fly, 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 fly. Oh, come on, what's the... There's the drawing tool. Okay. All right, so sugar. I'm I messed up. I messed up, guys. Stupid cavalry. And here Tyrion's just goofing out. It's because I split their army. I have Tyrion come in against their lord. All right. It will be done. All right, so they didn't do too bad against my Lothern Sea Guard, thankfully. Loyal. All right, so they're already routing. That's good. 
Setting forth. I have Without fail. the spearmen set up over here. Loyal. And back we here. For duty. See if we can get our spears here before they return. Um, sort of. All right, Arcane Phoenix, have you go up against Dark Shards? Moving out. Swiftly. I'm so bad at micro with cavalry. So bad. Serve the king. And then Tyrion he doesn't have anything battle. fancy, so he's gonna have to just. For my lady. Doing my duty. No, Tyrion. Destroy them. All right, I don't want my phoenix to get too... It will be done. Oops. Sorry. So, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh-oh, paused it. Sorry. As you say. Okay. Loyal. Fire Lario. All right, so Spearman. these guys seem to be doing okay. Driving off. All right, they're broken. Lovin Seaguard. We will obey. Oh, they're already broken. <laughs> so I didn't really even need to do that. Alright, so Phoenix. Tyrion. Just don't stand around, you stinker. I have them. Cavalry against Spearmen's probably not a great matchup. Some might say that's one of the worst matchups that you could have. I wonder if I can circle around and Follow flank them. Probably not. Uh, they're not taking as much damage and they haven't shattered yet. Let's see if I can. Alright, so these are my okay. We will obey. We will obey. Yes! I probably won't be able to get the dread spears in time, but I'd love to. Acknowledge! For Assyrian. Let's see if I can get my phoenix back here. Gets harder and harder to kill the infantry when they lose their models. Let's see if I can kill off that group though. That would be fantastic. Air of Anarian. Silver yeah, there's only more. like four more guys there. Come on. Tyrion, are you slower than him? You're the same speed. You're never gonna catch him. Hey, hey. I have to have this guy. Not just super speed. Probably not gonna get there in time either. Go, 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 run through the trees, grab them from behind. Oh, but now I've gotta worry about my. Okay, so the Lord is dead, that's good. Yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna get away, but that's okay. I tried. Tried as best as I could. So that wasn't bad. Still a decisive victory. I made mistakes, but I didn't lose anybody. Holy kills on the cavalry. That was pretty decent. I didn't even look to see what kind of ma Oh, heavens. I could use a life mage. That would be ideal so that I have some sort of healing for my army. Tyrion's one though, like Meow Ying, where if I do go far into the end game with this, I will end up with like a million armies. It'll get overwhelming. 
All right, so army replenished or Aster Sovereigns, because I have the mod to give me special currency. Um, I think I'm going to go with Fine. army replenishment, because I would love to Shield take the Tower of Lycian, because I can't reach Angerial. For my queen. All right, let's play this out again, just just to play it because I don't want to lose too much health in my army. Seek to control the high ground to get an overview of the battlefield terrain. This looks like it's a little bit more open than the battle we just fought. They've got just one ranged unit, it looks like. So if we can get our Phoenix or the Silver Helms back there, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. The nice thing the High Elves have got going for them versus Dark Elves is their range. They have better range than the, uh, the Dark Elves do. So I think I might just keep yeah, this Iberian. formation, but... Keep my cavalry in the woods for now. Uh, I'll stick you over there. Yeah. Servant of light. Moving out. Okay, they're currently hidden, but they won't be hidden for long, I don't think. Unlikely. So yeah, their dark shards have a range of 125, whereas my Lothern Seaguard have 165, so it works out in my favor better. So I'd love to have the Phoenix just kind of sit over there if I can have them go on by. And then I'll have Lothern my Seaguard focus on their archers when they get to range. Hopefully, it's going to be close. They're probably going to start shooting Moving at Tyrion out. first. Alright, these guys came all the way around. Let's come hit them in the flanks. We will obey. For Asurian! Ulfwan Mage. Lothen Seaguard! Asur! Attack! Alright, let's pop Mage. this down on those guys. Sunfang lusts for battle! Make let's see if we can get these cavalry to come in and support the spearmen. It shall be done! For duty! Oh, they're getting. Phoenix is getting shot up. I'm gonna bring this guy over. Hit the bleak swords from the behinds. Get that charge damage and then cycle out. High mage. Understood. Assyrian willing. Alright, let's get those guys out of the way. Acknowledged. It will be done. We go! Silver helms! By your command! Okay, hit those guys in the behind. Loyal! Northern Seaguard! Alright, Tyrion come in here to support. Northern Seaguard! Yeah, kill those guys. Get him in the behind! All right, so they're already broken. Well, not bro yeah, broken, but not shattered. Okay, now they're shattered. But I would love to just keep these guys here. So don't disengage. Take this guard mode off. We will obey. Death to all. Silver helms, as you say. Loyal. 
Tyrion, you need your horse. You're so slow. Tyrion, order. Come on. Acknowledged. We will obey. For the king. By Alariel. By Alariel. See if I can stop them at least. Not them, Seaguard. All right, the Phoenix is trying to take out this as much as they can, but see, and that's where I get confused. Maybe because I'm attacking a settlement, I'm not going to get extra whatever for fighting the stragglers. So maybe I should just stop it. This time, the Lothern Sea Guard are the MVPs. They're one of my favorite units with Tyrion, is the Lothern Sea Guard with shields. I would love to play Imric again because I, I also love the dragons, but his start is very difficult. I tried it once, did not go well. I think I was playing multiplayer with... Um, Jason and he I can't remember who he was playing but it did not go well for me and he was a little upset because <laughs> uh, I I quit pretty early on all right so I've got some money I've got gentleman Jenkins just hanging out here so far Gilgalion has got that area over there so I'll probably have to turn around and come back after Angeriel. Uh, I do have to be aware of Count Noctilus. Uh, when I've played Tyrion before, Noctilus has been a little pain Protected in the behind, so. Mm, can't put walls up just yet. So let's throw up. Well, not throw up, but we'll put in some growth because that's always good. And income is good, but also this is necessary for the technology. This is also necessary. So if I, can I click that? Cultural advancements. So cultural advancements. Trade advancements is what I want. Cultural advancements is over here. So, Let's see, construction, diplomatic relations. Yeah, so those are important. Trade advancements, the elven embassy. Oh, so I need that one, tier three. This would give me a noble hero. I don't usually play with cavalry. I feel like I should at some point, like, try, but I just don't want to. <laughs> this one's also good, though, because Sisters of Avalorn are ridiculous. Oh, there's so many options. Hmm. I may go with... I'm going to start with this. That's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. Military advancements. We'll get that going. Skill points for Tyrion. So I'm going to go blue line first just because it's very important. So recruitment costs. We're going to go with that. Ulf one's defender. Harmonic convergence. Okay. So usually he starts off with some defender options. Of the Ever Queen. So Galgalian would be friends with what us. What would you ask of the Asa? Uh, I'm Your not so done. worried about military access right now, so I'll hold off you on that. Alariel, the you have my undivided attention. I want to squeeze I as much money as I can out of these guys. Yourself. What would you have of the One. King? If you will it. Your request. Prince of a protect noble born. Okay. Your best. So eventually I'd like to get to where I can confederate like um Imric and Elithanar and all of them. Noctilus is already the move, making his move up here. 
Such a turd. All right, well, that there was a 25-minute turn one for you, so... <laughs> That's what happens when you fight battles on the map. The music that plays when you play the High Elves is so reminiscent of Lord of the Rings. It's just beautiful and I love it so much. Alright, Arathar is coming down to Angeriel. So we'll have to circle back to Lothurn. And probably meet him. Or her. That's a him, Dreadlord, but it's kind of like a her. Entering the garrison. Okay, and I probably should recruit Protector of the Ever Queen. some more ch -ch 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 archers, rangers, anti-infantry. I'm gonna get a couple more archer units. Ever vigilant. And spend our money. Well, let's see. Spear wall. Weapon strength for high elf spearman, Lothar and sea guard, silver and guard. Leadership melee defense. Reload time reduction. Speed. We'll go with reload time reduction. I basically need to focus on Lothar and sea guard because they're going to be probably some of my end game units. You called? Give the Mistress At least with Tyrion. The of heart, always find a serving the gods. The time is now. Speak. All right. So it's super Allow important you. in my mind to I'm get waiting. defense or to get alliances with the other high elves. Although <laughs> allying with Alariel may come back to bite me in the butt, but we'll deal with that. I think in the lore she's like Tyrion's betrothed or something, so makes sense from a lore perspective. I I don't know if I want to attack Erethar at Angeriel or if I should try to bait him out. Bid you welcome. How come she can build an outpost? Surely I can build an outpost, right? Because we have the alliance. Queen of outpost available. Yeah, I want to... I want to set up at Gay and Vale as quickly as I can because assuming that she goes all in for the Sisters of Avalorn, it would be good to have that as my base camp. It's about all my money. Alario's so champion. I'm going to pop over here. Very well. And ambush. see if I can ambush. Into position. Him. I can't. There's no way. But I'd love to get him to Ridiculous. meet me Tyrion, out here rather of than Champion of the Ever Queen. Gonna use up my movement. Rather than get stuck Short fighting sight. Angeriel and his army. Defender of the Phoenix G Prince, your words shall Trace. reach the Phoenix Thrust. if you wish. Can I protect Everqueen okay. of Althwan? <sighs> Nukari is going to be a big pain in the behind. I try to take him out early, but I've got to deal with these Dark Elf people no. first. And then these beast, not beast men, these green skins. If he doesn't come out to attack me on this turn, I may just have to try to fight and take Angeriel before he builds up too much of an army. I I want to try to be aggressive at the onset, but I'm not good at being aggressive, so I hope it doesn't backfire. The winds are mine. Okay, so he left Angeriel, which is surprising. So I'm going to take Angeriel and fight this one. See if we can get away with not taking as many casualties as what the auto resolve would give me. So this one, the only difference here is there's two Dark Shard units to look out for. But if I have my Phoenix and my Silver Helms, I 
should be okay. I definitely don't want to take too much damage because Arathar is going to immediately attack me. I'm sure of it. So I have to be as at, I have to be at as full of strength as I possibly can be. Oh boy, this is super wide open. Very nice, very nice. All right, so let's have. Spearmen. We will obey. Whoops! I just hit my. <laughs> I don't know what hotkey that's for, but I hit it unintentionally. All right, then we'll put. We will obey. Lutheran Sea Guard here and here. And then archers here. It will be done. It shall be done. Kind of do somewhat of a triangle. That may have a cooler strategy term. Wedge. That's what they use with the uh wedge formation is what they use with uh Cavalry charges and whatnot, but oh, and then those guys. Probably can't get them to where they're heading, can I? Nope, it's not gonna work. Let's take them all the way back there, but they would be better served probably over charging and over here in the flat. Come on, You're telling me I can't fit them here? Seriously? Seriously? Well, they'll just have to run through their buddies, I guess. Alright. Have you guys go over here, see if you can draw the firepower. Now, these archers have even better range than the Lothern Sea Guards, so that's good. All right, so it looks like we're drawing some of their archers. I should, I didn't mean to click that. I should group these guys. I don't often play with groups like I probably should. Okay, so we're drawing like the whole army away, which is not what my intention was. So I'm gonna, whoops, I'm gonna ungroup because well. that probably was stupid. Have you go over here. King, us. Come on. Oh, snap crackles. That took so much damage. So much damage. Loyal. At once. Oh my goodness. They're gonna get wrecked. This is why I don't like cavalry. This is why I don't like cavalry. But I did succeed in splitting up some of their army at least. Spearman. Alright, Tyrion, get in there. Ready. Yeah, boy. Orders received. Understood. Spearman, as you say. Alright, Phoenix. By Alario, for all one. Wonder if I can charge them now that they're fleeing. Archers. Loyal. It shall be done. It will be done. Orio! Setting forth. Asa, advance! Alright, how's the Phoenix doing? Could be better. He's taking some damage. Spearman! Love and Sea Guard. Yes. Archers! Love and Seaguard! Up, hey! 
Please. Why, why is it? Stop it. Archers. Forward. All right, now let's have you guys, actually, since they're broken, shattered. We will obey. It will be done. All right, taking some friendly fire. Battle call. Phoenix is taking more damage than I was hoping for. Understood. Spearmen. Defender of Ulf One. Sinner! It oh, will be done. Off. A sure warrior. Silver helm. For the king! <laughs> Alright, so that's doing some good damage to them. If we can get these guys down. Oh, can't run through the forest, guys. I took more damage than I should have. It does make me a little angry. Still decisive, but it's hard to tell if auto resolve would have been nice. Oh, I guess I healed some of it. Because it doesn't look as bad as it did. This time, the one Lothern Sea Guard unit edged out the cavalry by just two dudes. Tyrion's got to step up. His numbers are sorely lacking. Although this chick, she's got to get some like better spells. I know she's buffing and whatnot, but like, come on, come on. We need some offensive stuff. This place is ours. Okay, talisman gained. Let's see Shield what we can put on him. Okay, so he's already got all that on. Corruption, minus three, fire resistance, 20, ward save, eight, passive ability, phoenix fire. Nice. 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 So he's already up to physical resistance, 13% ward save. He's already going to tank. Hmm. We'll go with recruitment cost again. Tyria. Does she get... Yeah, Comet of Kazandora. That's a good one. That is a good one. For right now, though, let's go with... Wind Blast. Damage per second. Duration two seconds. I'm going to go with Aranan's Thunderbolt to start. Alright. So surely, Arathar is going to come after me. Surely. Ready to serve. And I would like to recruit somebody else. Maybe another spearman. And I don't like the Lothern Sea Guard as much without their shield, but they'll have to do in a pinch. The Warden of Tor, Protector, Queen of. All right. Dear my Nobody else. All right, so let's see if he attacks me this turn. If not, I guess we'll just have to go. Ridiculous. Go take the shrine of Assyrian. It'll be a little bit difficult because he's got the garrison and his army, which he's yeah. recruiting. But uh, that will probably be a next time situation. So let's see how this turn goes because I'll probably end it at the end of this turn. I don't see any other major enemies in the vicinity. Those green skins, we're gonna get have to get rid of them. Noctilus is still in the back of my mind. I try to take him out if, early if I can because he just is like a little annoying roach that just keeps showing up. All right, so he didn't come attack me. That's interesting. And Valen is not 
holding on well. Defender of the Phoenix Throne. Against Nakari. Hi, Priestess. So this is the situation. I guess next time. Oh, Noctilus is over here. Almost with a full stack. Brilliant. Brilliant. Alright, so next time I will probably try to go after the Shrine of Assyrian, try to fight that with as few casualties as possible. But yeah. Uh anyway, like I said at the beginning, welcome to the Tyrion campaign. I hope you enjoy it. One of my favorites, super looking forward to it, and keep your fingers crossed for me that we won't die early on. So Again, thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you in the next one.